Today I'm going to show you how to install the Gibson Elite Dual Sport Exhaust System for this 2017 Ford F-150 Super Crew with the 5 liter V8 engine. Let's go ahead and get started. Now we're underneath our truck at our first band clamp right in front of our muffler. And the first thing that we need to do is spray all of our bolts with some penetrating oil. Now this is going to be especially important if you've lived in a um, climate where you have a lot of snow and salt on the road. Some of these bolts can get pretty corroded. So we're going to spray that on this band clamp bolt here and then our two flange bolts at the front of this pipe. Now once you've sprayed all of your bolts with the penetrating oil, we're also going to go through and spray all of our hangers with some WD-40. Now we're going to take a 15 millimeter and loosen up that band clamp. Now we also are going to have two bolts here that are going to connect our two flange pieces. We're going to need to remove those bolts and actually twist our header pipe to unlock it from our muffler pipe. That's going to be a 13 millimeter on each of those bolts. Now if we go back to where our band clamp is, we should be able to twist our header pipe counterclockwise and it should unlock it from our muffler pipe. So now that we have our head pipe rotated, I'm just going to rotate the flange to line back up our holes and then I'm going to put our factory bolts in and just thread them in a little bit by hand and that's so when we take our muffler and tailpipe off this piece doesn't want to just fall to the ground. Okay, so now we're going to start working on getting our muffler and the rest of our tailpipe off of our hangers. We're going to start at the one right in front of our muffler. Now they do have a hanger tool that you can buy um, to get these off, but if you actually just have a pair of channel locks, they work pretty well. Just like that. Now while you're doing this, you want to make sure you have somebody helping you so that it's easier for you to handle this piece of your exhaust. So we got that one most of the way off. Now from here, we're just going to use a rubber mallet and start loosening the two connecting pipes here. So now that we have our muffler off of our front hanger, it should come off the other two pretty easily, so you want to make sure you have somebody in the back at the tailpipe, and we're just going to move everything forward. So you might have to tap it with a mallet to get it the rest of the way out of this header pipe. So then once you get that out, you're going to have to then tilt it forward and then come out through the center of the truck. Now we can remove our two flange bolts and remove our head pipe. So now we're gonna grab our head pipe. We're gonna have our flanged end on the front and our welded on hanger towards the back. We're gonna put our flange side in first, up over, our um, bracket here, match those two sides up, and then with that in place, I'm actually going to pull out on the rubber grommet and push that over just like that. So now we're going to line up our two flanges and we're going to use a provided bolt and washer, go in through the factory side, come out on our new pipe, 
And then on the other side, we're gonna use another washer, a lock washer and a nut. And we're just gonna leave it loose for right now. We're gonna do that on both sides. So now we're gonna grab our muffler and a three inch band clamp. We're just going to slide the clamp over the muffler side and then slide that pipe over our head pipe. And then we're just going to hand tighten this clamp for right now. We'll do our final tightening once we have all of our pipes on. So now if we're looking at our muffler from the back, we're going to start working on our right side first. We're gonna use a two and a half inch clamp, set that over the top like that. Then we're gonna grab our right side tailpipe. It's going to have our hanger bracket right in about the middle of the pipe. We're gonna set that over our axle and put it in our last hanger first. You want to slide that in place and then also at the same time slide the end of the pipe into the right side of your muffler and then you can just twist a little bit until you get it all the way in place and then we're just going to go back up to our clamp and snug it up by hand for right now now we're going to install our Left side tailpipe, we're just gonna use one of our clamps, two and a half inches, set that over the top, and we'll grab our last pipe, and it should have a welded bracket towards where it's gonna connect at our muffler. We're going to line that up first. And then slide it into place. Might be helpful to have a person on the other end to help you push it in. It's gonna be somewhat of a tight fit. So now once you have both of your pipes in, we're gonna go down to the end where our tabs are. There's gonna be a hole on each tab. That's so you can connect your two pipes with your provided bolt. Your left tube is gonna go underneath your right and then on the bottom, we're gonna use a lock washer and a nut. We're just gonna hand tighten that for right now. So now we're gonna take our tips and slide those over our pipes. Now how far in you go is kind of a personal preference. But once you have it in as far as you want, you wanna make sure that the slice on your tip, the larger side is to the top. Then we're gonna use a provided bolt. Go in through our hole at the top with a lock washer and a nut. We're gonna do that on both of our tips. And we're just gonna leave it loose for right now. Now that we have everything loosely installed, we're gonna go back and tighten everything up starting at the front. So now we're gonna tighten up our two flange bolts. Those are gonna be a 9 on the bolt and on the nut. You wanna make sure you tighten each side equally. 
also. So now we're going to move down to our first clamp. That's our three inch clamp. That's going to be a 916 as well. And again, same thing. You want to make sure you're tightening both sides of this clamp evenly. Next, we'll move to our two, two and a half inch clamps on the other side of our muffler. Now we can tighten up our tips. Those are gonna be a half inch. Now after about 50 miles, you want to make sure you go back underneath and tighten everything back down. That's going to complete the installation. If you have any questions, give us a call or visit us online.